She's going to be packing the Synology away to an international flight from London to the Gold Coast, UK to Australia. I hope, I hope the data survives. We just wear the bags. They're all overweight. We got a plan though. It's called Try How Long. <laughs> We did it. We checked our baggage in. Now, as you can see in the footage, there is a way to get the luggage on the scales and making the scales much lighter. What you gotta do is make sure you don't put the bag fully onto the scales. You gotta leave it slightly out and that tricks the scales to make it lighter. Uh, public service announcement for your information. If you are planning on flying with leg weights, don't. It just looks suspect. <laughs> They swabbed it to check what it was. <laughs> Joker. So not only do I have leg weights, wrist weights, I've got one of these. <laughs> A little computer. Oh my god, what are you doing, you so little like, nerd? Uh, security control was like, Make sure you take this guy for the TSA scanner. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wearing anything, they beat me deliberately. I think they sure. did actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually and did, because they, they said they, they, they marked you. Yeah. They said he's got something weird on his legs as well. So yeah, if you are travelling with a Synology DS1815+, Plus, it does get through security in London Heathrow. And they seem pretty friendly. They will get you through a TSA scanner if you are, for some reason, carrying wrist and leg weights as well to make yourself look dodgy. Now we just need to hope that when it drives, it still works. Because you can imagine all the magnets and stuff. <laughs> We're in Abu Dhabi. Woo! We made it through Abu Dhabi security. It was kind of funny because they didn't know what the technology was. I had to explain it to them that it was a computer. And then I had to take out all the hard drives out and show that it's just hard drives. And then he put it back in the wrong order and bashed them down a bit. But hopefully, I'm hoping they still function. Hopefully everything is still working. And <laughs> don't break it. <laughs> the plane shakes a lot during landing. <laughs> and when you're worried about your hard drives being safe, it shakes a lot more in your heart. <laughs> Um, Tetris, but we managed to do it, and you can still see in the rear view mirror. Hey guys, so I've just been traveling with my Synology DS1815 Plus, it's an 8 bay NAS drive. I've been traveling all the way from London to Australia at the Gold Coast, and I'm hoping the box survived. This is how I wrapped it. Wrapped it. I had a lot of bubble wrap and some foam around the edges. I just hooked it in. And yep, it's still intact. Urgh. 
So there's a bit of slight damage on the top bay. Let me just see if I can correct that. I guess where that happened was in Abu Dhabi. I'll just explain to you the process. So first off, flying up from London, we chose Etihad Airways. Now officially they only allow 7 kg of carry-on luggage. And this fella, with 7 drives intact, weighs over 10 kg. We were lucky and they didn't actually weigh our personal luggage items because I think the plane was a bit empty. But if they do weigh the items, there is a little hack you can do. If you only get the bag half on the scale, it weighs a lot less. This is how we got our oversized check luggage on board. Over in London Heathrow, they asked you to take any personal computer equipment out on the, the tray. For me, there was no sort of like um, weird looks or anything like that when getting on the tray. However, they did force me to go through the TSA scanner. But this could be partly due to the fact that I was wearing wrist and ankle weights on just to reduce my <laughs> weight of the items. There was a bit of heavy shaking during some turbulence and lift off and landing. However, it seemed to be still in a good working condition when I landed. Going through security in Abu Dhabi, that was a bit more challenging. Uh, one of the security officers had no idea what it was. I explained to them it's a computer and then I started showing him the drives. So he randomly decided to start getting excited on the fact that you can push down these buttons and he took out all the drives and swapped them all in weird states and I guess this is how this guy got in a funny state. However, he did lay it through and everything was fine there. Boarded on Abu Dhabi, flew out to Australia, no problems so far and it seems to have arrived in a good condition so I just want to test out to see if all the files still work and if there is any damage on the drives. Before flying out, I upgraded my SHR1 into SHR2 which means I've got two redundant storage drives in case any errors have occurred and let's just see if it still works. So I'm going to be connecting this technology drive directly via Ethernet cable to my laptop because I don't have access to the router in this hotel suite I'm staying at and I really hope it works. Before turning it on I'm just going to quickly make sure that all the hard drives are intact manually. Alright, wish me luck, I'm going to be turning this on for the first time and uh, hopefully there will be no weird beeps and red lights. It takes about a minute to start up usually. All right, we heard the beep. That means everything's A-OK. -okay. So I'm using this tool called Bonjour Browser. It's free to use and it's told me the IP address of the station and it's slightly changed. Instead of it being .100, it's now .83. So I'm just going to connect right now. There you go, good news. System health is good and we seem to be inside. What I'm going to be doing right now is just a quick smart scan on all the drives just to make sure that they're A-OK -okay. and uh, it works. You can travel on board. Alright, the smart scan results are in and actually all the drives are completely fine. Oh wow, that's so you were so nervous. Like he was so nervous going through airport security. Every little bump or every little like pavement. Oh my god, it was like, oh, jump on the security. I actually dropped the bag. Once oh my god, myself. you did it on purpose. No, it was an accident. On, it was was like, it? Yeah, sort of like. And then and then like three seconds later, like, oh my god, that has a Synology box inside it. She kicked it a couple of times and she was like, oh my god, yeah, the NAS drive's in there. Oh babe, I'm so proud of you. Well done. Big thank you to Western Digital, to Seagate, to Synology. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if it breaks now. Yeah, the thing, the thing about these drives is when they're off and the drives aren't spinning, then it's fine. they're usually safe for a bit of bumps and knocks. However, when the drives are in operation, do not <laughs> shake them. Don't touch. Well, Alright, we can relax. I'm proud of you. Now we can go take some more pictures and back them up. Well, I'm going to go hit the beach and do some surfing. Me too. And then bring my laptop and go on the internet. That's so fun. <laughs> oh my god, let's do it. Yalla, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's go, come on.